for me, Alexander Isak is staying. Newcastle United have made it clear. The only one of the top players that was likely to leave this summer was Bruno Gamerez. And that clause has passed. For me, I don't think Newcastle United are even going to entertain any bit for Bruno Gamerez this summer. I think he stays. So, you know, that, that's kind of where I, where I am. Just, just to go back a little bit. Like, I told, it's I only because Pops, I know like, City's bid is coming. I know it is. <laughs> Martin, I told you, Martin, I told Martin, to be fair, Martin, you've been saying that for three weeks, and we've been on this show, and you've been saying the bid's coming next week. We're three well, weeks down said, the line. The, 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 the clause is gone. City, the clause is gone. I said, said City wouldn't trigger the release clause. They're going after. Yeah, but you, but you did say that. Well, that's what I said. I said they would not trigger the release clause. No, but you said, you, you said you said. You were on it. You were on it with us about two weeks ago. Yeah, and you were and and, the, and the, the, I still the, think so. I the you said I'm wrong, I'm wrong. No, I, next no, week, I got told, and I said it on both, City do not value him at 100. I'm not 100 up front. But you did say that they were going to trigger the clause. No, I said they may do. But then I got told, because I, I said it on both show, and others said it on my own, they were, did not value him at 100 million. That was the info. Got I the actually point. think I'm, I'm, so, I'm with, sorry. I'm sorry, no, Mark. I agree with Mark. Oh, Bruno Gamera does not leave Newcastle United. No, but, but I think here's the thing. I actually think that they did. Yeah, but Martin, 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 you're saying that. You're saying that. But after two days' time, it doesn't matter. Because after two days' time, we, we get the points deducted anyway. So if, if we don't no, sell... We don't, if we don't, don't, if we don't understand how this... If we don't sell you Minte, no, you don't which, is, which is the only one that might be sold, working. if we don't sell Yakube Minte, which is yeah. the one that we've been told is likely to be sold between now and Sunday, if we yeah. don't sell him, then uh, and we don't sell anybody else in between that time... You're then, still working at a deficit. Yeah, we're, we're looking at a deficit. But at that point... That point, so that, this is, no, see what you're so doing. Is, you're doing, yeah, yeah, and so let, let me explain. Let me explain. Let me explain. Everything did you're kicking the can down the road, but well, I'm not because I'm going to explain. Yeah. Because I'm, I'm telling you from a Newcastle United point of view, yeah. it's already been reported in the last three or four days. We've been, we've been hearing three weeks ago, you weren't getting found. Yes, just let me explain. Just let me explain. So, I've been saying for the last three or four days, it's been reported that Callum Wilson. Is there to be sold? Miguel Almeron is there to be sold. Yeah. Kieran Trippier is there to be sold. All being linked and and likely to move to the Saudi Pro League. The Saudi doesn't Pro open League doesn't open to the seventeenth of July. So therefore, you're telling me, you're saying to me, so where are we going to make the deficit back? There, that's no, what you're, we're not, you're not getting the point, Matt Pete. When you buy a player, yeah. So you were going to spend sixty million on Lisa. That sixty yeah. million you, because we're in, a brand new, we're in a brand new PSR cycle. I, I, am I allowed to speak? Yeah, Joel Linton, you, you've been talking Joel over me. I signed a new deal. Me. Joel Linton signed a new deal, Pete. Yeah. Where's that money come from? What do you mean where it's come from? He's what already money? Signed what money? Joel Linton's gone up. So what is it? Hundred and fifty grand, two hundred grand, hundred and something daft a week or something like that. Yeah. Hundred and twenty grand. I'm a Newcastle fan, Pete. An actual Newcastle fan. So I'm not. Yeah, this, I'm a Newcastle fan. No, I'm but I got it from them. I, and they even said, the money, so all your sponsorship is coming, yes, your Adidas and everything else, comes in in dribs and drabs, by the way. You don't get it in one big lump in a wheelbarrow at the end and go, there you go. It comes in in, in increments. Yeah, it's per yeah. year. Right. So think about it. You were going to sign a Lisa at the time with 60 million. That was yeah. your Adidas and Salah money gone in one, in one lump. I, I don't know what I don't. I'm not don't getting the point, Martin. Hold on, hold on. Let him explain. Let him explain. Newcastle are already working at a deficit. They're already behind the eight ball. Yes. So they've got to make that money up. Plus, they want to go spending. You have to have the money to go spending. So they are. So, for example, I want to buy a car at under grand. I owe my bank. Thirty thousand pound already, so I now need a hundred and thirty thousand pound to buy the car that is only worth a hundred. Yeah, plus I'm not just buying; I want to buy other people as well. Yeah, 
Hold on, hold on. I, I actually got it. In a nutshell, Martin. Martin's spoken. Martin's spoken. Let me let me respond. I know about amortization. So, so the point, know, the I'm, point I'm saying to you, and Newcastle United fans have asked the same thing. question, and I'm and I'm re and I'm replying to what you just said. The 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 point that I'm saying to you is that this new cycle where you can spend money has already started. The cycle that you have to raise money for ends on the 30th of July. They're not, they're not the same cycle. No, There's already a brand new cycle. This, this, is, this is the mistake the everyone made. It's the same cycle. The cycle in which sign players in the new PSR has already started, which has only been one year. Away, they, they don't just clear it and see you that's gone. I'm, I'm not saying that. What I'm saying to you is, is that within that, we will, we will be able to recoup that money back in the players that we sell. If, if and it's still a big if, because it's reports right today, right. If. It, it, it reports today that Everton have, have started opening talks again with Newcastle around Minte. So that deal could get done and this conversation is void. If it's not, we come back to this conversation and there are other players that will be sold that can then fill that void afterwards. Newcastle can so put that in, money in a nutshell, back into the void. In a, in a nutshell, uh, this is to Martin. You think, Martin, in a nutshell, Bru Man City will sign Bruno because Newcastle have to and they won't be able I, to... I think, the bid will, I think they'll make the bid. I think they'll make the bid of about 90 million quid and do it in three increments. A bigger increment at the beginning and then two smaller increments. Because uh, I, I, I must admit, I'm, I'm not saying I know and I don't know. You know more than me, Martin, about Man City. I, I, I kind of feel like he'll stay at Newcastle now because I feel like he would have gone if he would release the clause because Newcastle's hands are tied. And now they're not. I think Newcastle will do all they can to keep hold of him. Unless Bruno knocks on the door and goes, I want out. I'm done. Thank you. The to... only reason. Yes, thank you, Dan. Unless he's yeah, that, 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 that's, what, that's what they're hoping for as well. Oh, OK. Yeah. okay. This already been, it's already been reported. Bruno's already... Bruno's already, Bruno's already, Bruno's already Jack Grealish told us Jack Grealish told us for three weeks he was going nowhere. He told Arsenal, he told Man City he had no interest in, in, in negotiating. That's throughout this whole period, that's what he'd said. That, that's fact. And, and that, that's, that's, what, he, that's, he what, that's what's been reported. He agreed, that's terms been reported. With he agreed terms with City Pete. That well, I do know. Well, uh, there's journalists that are closer to this deal than you and I that have said that there has been no, no communication and he's had no interest that's in fine. negotiating with anybody. Well, this I, is gonna I'm going to trust the person I speak to more than I trust a journalist. Yeah, but but I, I I talk to journalists that are close to this deal. I'm 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 I'm, I'm very close. We, uh, as Dan knows, we get a lot of top Newcastle United journalists nationally. nationally not that I'm not We talk to them. I'm not saying I'm not saying that it can't change like this. I'm not saying that it can't change like this. If it does, and they put the money down, I just don't believe that he will leave. For a hundred less than a hundred million, that's just my opinion. Because for me, for me, his importance for Newcastle United is worth more than that. That's it's worth more than that for me. You might not rate him as a hundred million pound, and that's absolutely fine. But to Newcastle United fans, really to Newcastle now, worth now team, yeah. he is worth more than a hundred million. So for me, I think that's why they put that PSR um, hundred million. Mm -hmm release clause there for the time that they did and it's a case of if it's not if it's not broken at that time he stays at Newcastle United so for me if it changes it changes but for me I'm confident I'm confident that, that Bruno Gomez will, will stay at Newcastle United hey, if, he if does, he does, he does, I, 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 what I'm told and people can laugh call me a liar everything else and I tell people I speak to I trust and they've not got anything wrong they've told me so I trust them but I feel exactly the same, Martin. You're, you're well, talking of a position where you've clearly got links to the club and people that you know within Man City, and that's fine. But I'm telling you, I also have the same. And we also have those conversations too. Behind closed doors, confidentially, we have those conversations. And this is, this is a thing. Me, well, that's, this is week, that's a thing. But, it could, but the, the, the thing that I've said to them, and I'm saying to you, is that, and I've mentioned it on this show before, that that's Bruno Gamera, if, if, there is a chance, and they put enough money down, and I think it'll have to be 100 million or more to get Bruno Gomez at this point. If they put that money down, Newcastle United may well consider it, and he will consider going to Man City. Because I've always felt that that's one club in the Premier League 
that he would probably go to. That's, and that's, been, that's been my stance on him, and is that I think Newcastle will charge nine. You'll be you'll receive nine figures or more for the both of them. I think, and whether people rape either player at that um at hundred million or more, I just feel like you lot will because, like you said, what what both players mean to you, and if anything, this has worked out probably better for Newcastle that no one activated the release clause in the time because now you can even charge even more for him. Not to say Newcastle probably. But I'm um, buying for that rate, but you can charge everything more. And this is why I love when your biggest player doesn't have a release clause because you can decide the fee essentially. Wait, Isaac's new deal probably won't have a release clause, will it? Unless his uh, camp. No, uh, well, there's, really there's, there's no, there's, there's talk of no release clause in Isaac's new contract. Isaac's already contracted till 2028. They're talking about the contract being contracted until 2030. But it, it, on top of that, th there's talk of Bruno in Bruno's clause. There's there's an additional there's an additional clause that by January it triggers um, a new a new deal. So his deal goes up again. His pay That's goes up. His deal, his, his, his deal goes up again, and um, without a clause in January. So if he stays this summer, then he's likely to be staying long term because again, you're going to have that same conversation that Newcastle United are not going to release him easily. And even if they do say right, okay, at the end of next season you can go, it's still going to be around the same fee because of the length of his contract and the influence that the player has. No, the difference the is it's amortised them. That's what City are wanting. They wanted it amortised. They didn't want to pay the money up from. Yeah, but it, that, that, doesn't, that, doesn't matter, that, that, that doesn't matter to Newcastle because... No, no, I'm not, I'm not saying it does. That, that, that money, I'm that money the city perspective. straight away. I'm giving you the City perspective. No club was ever going to pay £100 million up front. No one was. Because no one had that money on the PSR box. Who's going to put £100 million up front onto their PSR? There you go. But but if you think like it's but the not point be, is, point oh, is well. for example, you don't get what you need to get done in two days, and you get a points deduction. Your Champions League chances are going down the swanner. Then you will lose them. But that's that's a conversation for when the season starts. Let's. This let's is my point. On. This is what PSR is wrong. This is what I was saying before. This is why it's but wrong. I agree with you. The points that you talked about earlier before I came it on is the show, wrong. I'm listening to it. I, I have no with issue with Newcastle. The point is Newcastle will never be allowed to go and challenge for the league, in my opinion. They'll be stopped at every block off. Yeah. You will never be allowed to challenge for the league. I agree with that. Well, I agree well, with I, that. I, I'll I never be allowed. I, I think, for, for, for me, uh, I think we, we will get there. And I'm confident we'll get there. But if you're if if you and everybody else are expecting Newcastle like like most did to be like one or two years challenging for the title, it ain't gonna work like that. And I think Newcastle United fans are seeing what's happening with the Premier League and what we've just been talking about and what you talked about earlier, Martin, and now realizing, hold on a second, yeah, they're really trying to slow down this progress. They're really trying to slow it down. We hey, might I, have I've realized the point where we fight for like Champions oh. League, like we have and Villa have or whatever, but in order to be there consistently and then go on and kick on to fight for the title, it's going to be a number of years down the line. But we're we're, we're trying to we I keep emphasizing it because it's off the pitch stuff, but it's so important. You guys on this panel all have it. You've got an infrastructure, you've got regular big money coming in, you've got huge sponsorships, you've got all this stuff that's already tied down that allows you that extra expenditure in the summer every year to go hard and to sign top players. We haven't got that yet. We've got huge money from our owners, but we're not allowed to spend it. So we're having to do it the right way and we're doing it the proper way. We're not taking any shortcuts or anything. Um, we're actually trying to build these sponsorships like with Adidas and various others. We've got a training ground uh, kit sponsor that's coming in at some point, um, apparently in July. All of these things are going to be kicking in to be raising money, but that's going to take time. That's going to be year upon year upon year, slowly building. The amount of money that we've generated as new money in the last two years, like we've eclipsed so many teams. 